Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ballin', ballin'. Tony hey. cool go cool. It's no rules, bro. Good boys and girls, we're back with another reaction video today, and we've got Sofago. It's been a while since this guy's dropped 2020. Haven't really listened to much of his music either. Um, had quite a few requests to actually go further, you know, dive further into his discography, and um, yeah, a lot of a lot of the people who watch my videos like Sofago, um, so or like sort of like that new wave type of sound. So I was like, why not? Um, give you guys a reaction to Before Pink, which is like a little bit of a teaser to his next album. Um, yeah, and it's only on Apple Music, but I'm gonna listen to him on YouTube because I don't have, I'm with Spotify. So yeah, I think he has a full like deal with Apple Music and that. But anyways, if you guys wanna see the full reaction, um, it'll be on my Patreon. I'll leave a link to that in the description, my Patreon account. Other than that, let's just jump straight into this. Um, first track we have is Long Way. Let's see how good this dude is, man. So there you go. Long Way. That's where my mind goes to straight away with this new wave sound. The you go. You know, it's like, I feel like it's also, well, I think Uzi's influenced a lot of that um, sort of hype ad lib, um, you know, this new wave hype ad libs. I don't know if Yeats really got it off Uzi, but I can sort of see um, the influence he's had on a lot of this new wave and sort of getting, getting people hype with these these hype ad libs bro like they go you know and they like scream them as well um and just sounds in general as ad libs can really um bring a track up but this track okay so far decent I haven't really dived into his music too much. I haven't really listened to too much of his stuff. Um, you know that off the map track, obviously everyone knows that one. Um, if you've heard Sofago, it's one of his biggest. That's my favorite of his, but um, just because I need that real hype energy. That was nearly getting there. That was nearly sort of getting to that gym sort of playlist where it gets me motivated, gets me, you know, I don't know. I need a I need a track to provide me with that drive, that push to just, you know, I'll tell you when I get it. I'll tell you when I get that type of track. But that was long way. Um, I'll give it a a seven, um, maybe high six is a seven. We'll keep it at a seven. Not too bad. Very sort of mid to, to decent track. Anyways, we'll get into the next one. What do we have? Um, count me out. Count me out. Let's go. Questioning your intentions. I wonder who was scared. I stepped on my box to show them I'm not scared. And I just draw like 30. And I did ball like curry. Oh, okay. Ball like curry. Beautiful. Obviously, the typical line. However, this actual instrumental is what's getting me going at the moment the dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. i don't know what something about it instrumentals can drag a track can bring a track up for me a lot um if it's a good instrumental i don't know let's let's keep it going i was gonna be the one get shit on me nigga look at me now i just caught mr miss in a brown jean and she told me she loved my style I just carved some new Saran Saint Laurent jeans. Yeah, she covered my style. Yeah, okay, I like this one. Niggas 
stepped on my box to show him I'm not scared. I gotta talk to my mama to show him I'm still here because I'm working. A bit better than that first track. He's slowly bringing it up. He's giving me them vibes. I'm, I'm, I'm warming into his sound a bit more. Um, usually it's tough on first reaction for me to give, like, well, it's not first reaction. I have reacted to Surfago once in this channel, um, a proper reaction. However, it's hard for me to really give, like, over an eight unless I really like the artist on first reaction. Um, like you guys know, with um my first ever reaction of Yeet, I gave like sixes like i was not fucking with it bro and then after some time gave it a month two months started replaying that up to me album and i just and became you know you became my favorite artist um at the moment at least so he could grow me he could be one to grow me over a couple months who knows but for now i'm eh. a bit better than that first track um still in the sevens range i'd probably give that one like a 7.5 he is bringing it up for me but um yeah just not at that eight yet um it's he's got that hype to him he's got that bounce i can feel the energy there it's just i'm not used to his vocals the i don't know man um but we'll see maybe we get a surprise uh, in between one of these tracks next one we have is good day good day man let's get into that I don't know what it is for me I would have liked if that beat uh, played out a bit a bit longer before he jumped in um, the beat came in straight away after like what 15 seconds or something like I like a bit of a build up to tracks um, yeah I don't know I think it just would have suited this track better so far from what I've heard I didn't want to do you like that, but I did that shit anyway. You, you, bro, he's adding you, you, you. Go. Da -da, da -da. I don't know. That, actually, I might rate that other track a bit higher, the last, the second one we listened to. That I feel like that's one to maybe bring it up to the eights after a few more listens. Like, I could see myself playing that one a bit more. Interesting. So Fago, good day. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, my sort of mindset around So Fago at the moment is like, I can't see anything too special, uh, like unique wise. Like, like you, I can't really see an insanely unique um, sound that he's giving off. Um, you know, there's other artists that are quite unique that bring something new to the table. However, he's got the vibes there. He's got those hype energy. He, he, get, he gets you energized. He gets you vibing. Um, but I feel like it can mix into all the rest of the new wave stuff. Like, you know, Summers and stuff? Like, the, I feel like Summers has a unique uh, plug, plug and B, whatever that thing is called, that older wave. Um, you know, they've got a unique way of rapping on those sort of, uh, you know, what is it like not bass heavy type of tracks it's just a such a simple beat throughout but they've just got a nonchalant way of of rapping right with sofago it's more um he's got the more hype vibes there but i just need a bit more differentiation to like i know it's sofago and i hear him but something's missing i don't know what maybe if he like makes some crazy ad libs like some new crazy ad libs or I don't know what it is, but that's that's me at least. Good day, I would give that around a seven point three, in between that low seven in that so uh, low seven range. Let's see how he's coming with the next track though. We've got two more to go. Fall is the next one, man. Let's get into fall. Also, before we start it, I want to know um, 
what's the album he's dropping after this? Because it says before Pink. Is it just titled Pink? The next album? Anyways, let's get into it. I like this one how he's going he's going out of it and coming back in with the beat you know he's 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 really um riding this beat um well um that's what I gotta say about this one so far so far, I just had a really weird thought because on the topic of unique artists and um, people differentiating their sound. Whatever happened to Remble? Is he still making music, man? There was a little period. I just I don't know. He popped up in my mind. Thinking of unique people. Remble is so unique. I love his music, man. I was pumping him for so long. Like what? What the fuck? Ha! Gay. It sounds a bit um no homo. I was um listening to a lot of his music and then he hasn't released anything after that yachty song or something you know he has the ted talk one um but he's he's unique i like that um but back onto sofago he's riding his beat well um and yeah let, let's keep it going but yeah what happened to rembo <laughs> Again, a bit better. I'd say close to that second track, one of my favorites. I'd maybe give it around a 7.6, I'd say. And that second track would be a bit better. I shouldn't have given a 7.5, it's a little higher. But this one, yeah, about a 7.6, 7.6. Decent, but I just need that oomph. Give me some more oomph, so there you go. Anyways, that was four. Last track we got is Goddamn. Goddamn. Come on, end it off right. on it i don't know what it is some some bass that just vibrates your insides if you were in this car with me listening to this you'd know what i mean but some thick bass i've never really called bass thick but this is just thick bass so, so, so how i might just tell you how i feel uh, i just tell you how i feel i'm trying to pop out i saw a long man that though oh yeah you know how we like experiments with ad-libs artists just need to be able to um just be themselves experiment like don't give a shit like do what they want on tracks as opposed to just sound like like sort of care about what other people think would sound good just you know just put it all out there like thug man thugs uses his voice like an instrument and just screeches and a lot of people don't like that though but you know that's why you have such a strong loyal fan base melly as well melly has the craziest sounds you know funniest way of ut uh, utilizing his voice to just create a masterpiece i feel like artists need to do that more man but maybe he's going on a different route so if they go more mainstream i don't know you know she Yeah, all right, man. Um, so Fago, I was expecting a little more. Maybe he's just not giving us his all because this is a bit of a teaser to his next album. Because he has a lot of hype built around him, a bit too much for my liking. Um, because I there's a lot of like 
big Sofago fans, Sofago fans out there, but maybe they have some unreleased that I don't have, or they've listened to some tracks that I haven't heard. Um, so I've sort of heard only the couple, couple of mainstream ones, like the big ones that he has, and now this. So um, I'm excited to hear his album, his proper album that's coming soon. I don't know when and whatever it's, what it's called. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but that last track, I would give probably like a also a 7.5 maybe that second track will grow me to a bit it's a bit higher and this last track and that second last track as well um they were ones that could potentially grow me but i'm waiting for that album man let me know what you guys thought of the uh this little ep down below I'd like to hear your thoughts let me know what your favorite track was if you want to check out the full um video again unedited raw reaction will be my patreon uh like the video subscribe if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one man Peace. I'm ranking it straight to the top, ain't no capping it. We living like this extravagant. Whole high class nigga ain't never rich. Friend in each tree like they calories. Plants in my crib like a gallery. Dog in these hoes, I eat pedigree. My nigga, this nigga, then 40 degrees.